All right, guys, check this out. I'm stuck on the side of the road. I got me a flat. I found there's a big old hole in my tire. I don't know if it had a big bolt or what, but do not try this at home. But the closest thing in size I had to plug that hole was a 223 round. Just got some of those. So, here's my wife. Say hi. I tried a 45 first. And, uh, yeah, that was too fat. So, I'm going to get it and see if that 223 will hold enough air to at least get me home to the house. All right, here we go. I actually think it's gonna hold enough air to get me home. It's going up some. Not from the bottom. Look at that. 223 tire plug. <laughs> Only in Tennessee. Don't try this at home. But it's going to get me home. Assuming we don't hit a rock just perfectly and send that thing off. But that's how you fix a hole in your tire. 223. It's holding enough to let me boogie on down the road. Cross your fingers for us. If this ain't the most redneck thing you've ever seen in your life, I don't know what is. I got two miles in on this tire. I'm going 30 mile an hour down this back road. Look, there's my wife behind me. Look at that old floppy flop tire right there. I'll get out and show you here in a minute. That sucker's holding the air. All right, I just called my tire man. He said he might have some takeoffs. He could throw me a tire. So we're slow rolling this baby into town. And uh, man, that tire's got some mega bubbles in it. But that 223's holding air, baby. Woo! Hey. What's the word? We MacGyvered that thing, man. Uh, but stay tuned. Hopefully up here. Cross your fingers for me. Hopefully my buddy Rodney up here has got a takeoff he can slap on this thing because I need this truck tonight and tomorrow. I got stuff to do. Still holding air. Look at this. I'm rolling 40 miles an hour on that tire back there. That tire's got bubbles coming out the sidewall. But man, hey, that just goes to show you you need to keep some 223 in your truck at all times. I keep a couple boxes in there in case of emergency, but it came in handy today, I'm here to tell you. My wife said, you're crazy. I said, hey, that's a, that's smart right there. I was looking for things to plug it, the regular tire plug. I keep a tire plug kit in my truck, but a little tire plug, rope string things is not going to take that thing. That hole is the size of a 223 hole. But yeah, I called my buddy and we're going to see if he's got a tire to slap on here. All right, check this out. I just made it eight miles on there. It's definitely leaking air, but it did good enough to get me here. There it is right there. See it bubbling. It worked though. It's not crazy if it worked. All right, we've got some plugs to stick in it a little bit. Look at this. Dancing all over that primer and it didn't go off. That's a trip. Ended up going about eight miles on that thing. Looks like the tire might be trash though. Bubbles not coming out of it. Here's what we ended up with. He didn't have a size that would fit just as a slap on. And we filled it full of patch or plug and I'm gonna have to get a new tire because this is tore up. The sidewall's all eat up on the inside. 
Well, that's good enough to limp me somewhere where I can get some tires. Pretty wild. So, you ought to keep a box of 223 in your truck because you never know when you're going to need a plug of tire. Appreciate y'all. Don't forget to check out hootiehoo.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Keep a 223 in your truck in case you need a plug of tire. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Woo-hoo!